everyone, my name is Birdie and I am your friendly neighborhood forest witch. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a sunrise ritual for Litha. Now, since Litha is the longest day of the year, it would be ideal to do the sunrise ritual on Litha morning because we are going to be using the magic of solar energy in this ritual. So what better time than the longest day of the year to soak up all that solar energy. So without further ado, let's get into the details of this ritual. Early morning has always felt like a magical time to me. I love being awoken by my beautiful feathered friends as they sing to each other. So this ritual in particular feels extra special to me. For this sunrise ritual, you will want to Google the time the sun will rise in your area. For me in Indiana, it's around 6.08 a.m. and you'll want to be outside as the sun is coming up. So set your alarm if you need to. For this ritual, you will need a jar with a lid, and our first ingredient is going to be earth. So you can collect this earth from your yard, from the forest, from a potted plant. I'm specifically getting mine from my garden. It just feels extra magical to me because I've put so much time and energy into my garden this year. So that's what I'm using, and you just need enough to cover the bottom of the jar. Our next ingredient is fallen leaves. So like the earth, you can collect this from your backyard or from the forest, or even from a tree from a loved one's house, or maybe leaves from your favorite tree as well. So you're just gonna put these leaves on top of the earth inside your jar. Our next ingredients are gonna be some herbs. And the first one is going to be dandelion, which represents happiness. The second herb I'm using is chamomile, and this represents healing and prosperity. The next herb I'm using is thyme, and this represents good luck and health. I'm also utilizing the yellow dock root that was in June's The Witch's Roots box. And this is a potent purifier and it helps to clear energetic blockages and alleviate anxieties. And then to sweeten the spell, I'm also putting in some stevia. Next, choose any three crystals that you resonate with. For example, my first crystal is citrine, and that represents the sun and abundance. The second crystal I've chosen is jade, and that represents luck and good health. And then I've also chosen lapis lazuli for strength and clarity. And this is what my jar currently looks like, and it smells so good. It actually smells like the forest on a hot summer day. Now take some time and write down three affirmations that you wanna work towards during the last half of the year. Once you're done, fold the piece of paper up and place it in your jar, and then you can go ahead and close your jar. Then state your three affirmations aloud, visualizing each one and what their outcome looks like. Follow this up by thanking the sun for the light and life it provides 
and thank the mother for all her blessings. Thank you, son, for the light and life you provide. And thank you, mother, for all the continued blessings that you put upon my life. After that, imagine all the cells in your body are glimmering specks of gold flowing through you with strength and ease. Visualize healing energy resonating from the tips of your toes to the top of your head. Let this awaken your senses and energize your mind and body. Embrace the summer solstice energy by staying in the sunshine with your eyes closed while focusing on your intentions for as long as it feels right. Then leave the jar outside to charge in the sunlight until sunset. Finally, as the sun begins to set, bring the jar inside and place it in a space of prominence. It can be a reminder to you of the motions you put in place on this solstice morning. It will enable you to have the energies of the earth and the sun with you the whole season through. I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you decide to try out this ritual and would like to share it with me, I would love to know how it went for you. You can comment down below. You can send me an email, which is always in the description down below, or send me a DM on my Instagram. I would love to hear your experience with this ritual. But thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks friends, bye.